Hello everyone, we are Timoto family. This video shows how to use the M-Link Return module and the sorting of remote control return interface information. Let's view the basic functions and settings of the M-Link. Power on the ESC after connecting to M-Link. You can see a digital display on the card. Long press the small yellow button on the sorting card. It enters into the parameter mode when you see the number start jumping. Number 1 to 8 is displayed. 1 represents the first option. 28 represents the number of motor magnets. M600 motor is a 20 power motor. Short press the yellow button and change to number 20. If you use other poles of motor, you can adjust the corresponding number of poles. Long press the small yellow button to second option. 2 represents the second option. 1 represents the M-Link hardware. ID. When two or more ESC need to return data at the same time, you need to set the corresponding ID for the ESC. Short press the small yellow button to adjust the corresponding ID number. There is no necessary to set up the single motor temporarily. Long press the small yellow button to enter the third option. Three represents the third option. One is the frisky remote control return option. Two is the footbar remote control return option. Three is the JT remote control return option. Short press the small yellow button to select your corresponding remote control. Long press the small yellow button number and no longer jumping after confirmation indicating successful serving. Next is the sorting and the tuning of return interface information of the remote control. Here is a demonstration of a footbar remote control as an Example. First, you need to use a footbar receiver with return function. This time, we use footbar 7108 receiver for Turing. The first step, open the remote control. Select the receiver mode. Click on the linkage option of remote control. Select system type. Then, select pass test 18CH. Telemetry return information be confirmed in act mode, then exist. The following is the sorting of the return information. Click the linkage option and the second page to select the sensor menu. Click reload in the second page of the menu to reset the menu. For first item, inhibit. Select temperature return. Select RPM speed return for the second item. Select CURF1678 for the third item. Automatically generated CURF1678 for the fourth and fifth item. Return information settings completed. And the return interface of remote control. Click the remote control linkage option. Then and the telemetry return interface in the second page. There are six return options totally. The first data is the voltage of the receiver. The second data is the internal temperature of the ESC. The third data is the current speed of the motor. The fourth data is the actual current of the motor. The first data is the current voltage of the battery. And the sixth data is the accumulative consumption capacity after plugging in. Next, push the throttle to see how it changes. All the return information begins to display. All parameters will be cleared to zero after power off. 
The method of alarm value of the return information. The first step, set capacity alarm, which is most commonly used. Open the alarm display off. We set 5 mAh for demonstration. We firstly select vibration mode 1. Speech is for the wireless alarm. Select ACT and open. Go back to the return interface and push the throttle when the consumption capacity reaches the preset value. The remote control will start to vibrate and voice alarm. In the actual flight, when your battery voltage is 3.7V after aircraft landing, Check the consumption capacity, such as consumption of 2700 mAh. Then select the capacity consumption to 2700. When their remote control along, the battery voltage will be close to 3.7V. Regarding the battery voltage, around 6S battery can be set to 22V and the battery voltage can reach 22V and will have along simultaneously. Other return options along method is similar as above. These are all contents of the M-Link tutorial today. Thank you for watching.